Greetings from Olympia. This is your state representative, Kerry Condotta, and this is week two of the hopefully short legislative session, only scheduled to last 60 days, and I think we might make it. Well, we might. Uh, if the Supreme Court has their way, they might keep us here till Christmas. Uh, we have sent a letter to the Supreme Court based on their latest findings, uh, saying that we don't agree with uh, their ability to tell us how to budget and how much and when to budget. This is not uh, something the courts are designed to do under the Constitution. There's a clear separation of powers. We certainly appreciate their opinion that they think education should be funded at a higher level. However, uh, to tell us that we are going to do it at a certain amount or in a certain time frame is uh, completely unconstitutional and we have 27 members of our caucus sent a letter to the judges letting them know we have no intention of complying with their order under the Constitution of the State of Washington. Now that's the exciting news for this week because we want to get out of here on time. We have a budget that a lot of people voted for. We're very happy with it right now. Now, getting back to some feedback from you folks, this card was sent out to many of you. Uh, of course, if you didn't get the card, you still have many ways at the end of this message that you can contact us, but these cards came back by the hundreds. We appreciate that, and the themes are quite clear. Uh, the number one theme uh, on nine out of 10 of these uh, return cards is no new taxes. No more pressure on taxes, particularly the gas tax, although there are a few folks that would be willing to pay a small amount of gas tax for preservation to take care of the existing roads and bridges, but most folks aren't too thrilled with the fact that these mega projects don't seem to work. We have floating bridges that don't float, we have ferries that don't ferry very well, and now a tunnel that isn't tunneling. I can understand your angst. So there are a number of reforms that are proposed under the current gas tax proposal, but that would also include a 12 cent increase, and frankly, only a few cards out of hundreds would support that. So at this point, we are not supporting that package in the 12th district. However, if there was a different package with some reforms and preservation, we might consider that option. On education, most of you feel that education is funded properly. Uh, although I have seen many folks say that the teachers need their COLAs, I am happy to say that I have signed on to a bill to give the teachers back their COLAs. As a matter of fact, I voted against suspending them every single year that that has come up. That's something that probably should be included in education funding. Outside of that, there's a lot of talk about how much and where it should be directed. And again, the Supreme Court is putting a lot of pressure on us to raise taxes dramatically to fund education. I don't think that's a wise move in this economy. So we'll just have to uh, cross that as we get to it. Other themes, there's lots of them. Everything from studded tires uh, to uh, uh, to uh, other reporting and small business issues. Uh, the small business issues are always first on my mind and we are working on some bills uh, to help small business, independent contractors and others try to stay afloat in this very tepid economy. So we look forward to reporting back to you next week as the bills roll out and we begin get ready to go to the floor and uh, it should get quite exciting towards the end when we see if the Supreme Court really wants to hold us in contempt against the Constitution of the State of Washington. Thanks for listening. Remember all our contact information is on this video. We'll see you next week.